what is up everybody ads play 101 here and welcome to my year end message as you can see right here final message for 2022 going into 2023 happy new year and all that um i didn't want to have a lot of like sad background music playing i may edit some in before i upload the video to youtube but as of right now me recording this i'm not i don't really care for it another thing um i don't think i'm gonna have uh, i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this within 10 minutes to upload this to tiktok so if you're seeing this on tiktok go to youtube and watch the full video you can watch it there i'm pretty sure it's gonna be longer than 10 minutes um Final message uh, for 2022. Uh, this has been, and without me bringing up any world events like the Will Smith slap or, you know, people passing away and all that, I'm, I'm talking about for me in particular, you know, because it all starts with self. So I'm just thinking about, you know, how the year has been for me and, you know, the challenges I had to go through and kind of starting things and being hit with life and things not uh working out the way that I planned and having to push things back and, you know, those setbacks and, you know, those little trials. But this has been one unsuccessful year. I'm not even going to hold you. This has been one terrible year for me. It's it, there there's been some moments. I mean, I've I mean, starting from last year where uh I began my TikTok page and over the course of between June, the end of June and I would say by October, I I had already reached you know, over 5,000 followers on there. So that's something that I'm glad I was able to continue. Now I'm at over 6,600 people on TikTok. So that's something to be proud of. Um, my YouTube channel, however, has been kind of staggering. And it's that's my fault because I, I think some of you guys know I was struck with COVID earlier this year. Um, I think early last year too, but I was dealing with that. And in the midst of me dealing with COVID and, you know, finding out I had blood clots in my lungs that kind of messed me up this year, too. Um, and me having to recover from that, you know, I'm fine now, but I had to recover from that. And in a, in a course of me having to deal with that and not being able to do a lot of things and me being off work and me just trying to focus, trying to be healthy and all that, it, 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 it set me back, you know, and I didn't put that effort with the time I had into doing productive things. Like I looking back at it, I really should have. But when you think you, you know, when you pretty much don't have the energy, your only focus is to just get better. The last thing you're thinking about is like, Oh, playing a video game or, you know, maybe some people were able to do it, you know, just to take their mind off of the troubles. But I wasn't um, I wasn't using my time wisely. So I got to remind myself going into 2023 that, you know, this you know, this upcoming year, hopefully we don't have any more major disasters, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have. I mean, it's been raining nonstop this is like the first time I moved to California, April 6th. I mean, May 6th, 2014. This is the first time this, this is, it's raining this damn much, especially in like the, uh, you know, in the new year, you know, going in the new year's Eve. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but this year or this new year's Eve, it doesn't feel like we're going into a new year. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like 2023. The reason why I said that is because 2023 feels like it's going to end up being what 2020 should have been had COVID not hit. You know, 
had we not had the pandemic. And it's just weird. And I, cause it, it just doesn't feel like we're going into a new year. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's been raining. Nobody's outside. Nobody's doing anything. It's snowy. I think people are like snowed in in New York. Even my family down in Texas, you know, Texas got hit with record, with record colds and, you know, it's, it's just like all over. It's just really a big mess in Thinking about 2020, 2021, even 2022, it felt like people was trying to just recover. It just felt like a recovery phase when that COVID, when COVID hit. Matter of fact, let's take it back to 2019 when, you know, like I said, I didn't want to bring up any world events. But, you know, with celebrities dying that we grew up watching or we had admiration for, um, whether it be Nipsey Hussle or anybody that that year that ended up dying then early 2020 i think kobe ended up dying and and, and that plane crash with his daughter guiana i hope i got her name right as well as all the other passengers on there and then it's just like we just took major blow after major blow you know what i mean it like it kind of deflated the energy in in society and then it's just like it went downhill from here you look on tiktok everybody's arguing with each other you took over nonsense and it's, you know you look on the internet some more stupid stuff happened and then just recently you know the whole Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion trial you know people feel some type of way about that um and in the midst of all that for some reason low tier guy got his YouTube page banned for whatever reason I mean that's I mean that's not really not really a blow like that but that's still kind of fucked up you know what I mean it's just you know he didn't even do nothing wrong that's the crazy part but he don't get his channel back. I'm not worried. But uh, just random nonsense been happening. I can name a lot more things here and there. But this going into 2023, it literally doesn't feel like we're going into a new year. And that's just my honest, you know, uh, you know, take on it. It like I said, it feels like we're going to end up. It's going to fit 2023 is going to feel like what 2020 should have been if the pandemic didn't take over. Um, but with all of that being said, these are my. This is what's on my agenda all 2023, right? Come 2000, hopefully by the summer. I'm going to start, I, what I want to do is I want to push, ooh, let me back this up a little bit. I want to push this, uh, my shirts again, the World Warriors Collective. I kind of want to push that, those clothes again because I put that on the back burner for so many years and it's just like, I need to do something with it. I have a brand, I have something, and I have another YouTube channel where I can push that and I just... I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass because, like I said, I didn't use my time productively as I should have. Um, as you guys seen, I have started doing more vlogs, especially in regards to like anime and more in particular Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War, which, you know, that we get more episodes July 2023. So pretty much around the time Street Fighter 6 gets released. I don't know why they decided to do it in the middle of the year, but uh yeah, we're going to get those episodes and I'll be able to talk about it more. And I, I still got other animes I'm going to bring up and talk about as well. Um, Obviously, live streaming more consistently, that's a thing. I want to at least, by summer, I want to be able to grow this into something profitable. You know what I mean? I, 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 I still kick myself in the ass years ago for not striking for not striking when the iron was hot. And of course, I was just young and ignorant at that time. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I, I can't really think of anything else too much. But um, you know, I didn't have no background music playing because I just wanted you guys to hear everything I had to say. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be. For those of you who are familiar with my TikTok work, um, I will be doing. I will be recording the 
next chapter, chapter four of the Tackling Toxicity series. Um, chapter four. Uh, in January of 2023. So that's going to be more. I'm going to be pushing for that a lot more. Um, as well as finishing up. The main thing in 2023 is I, I want to get rid of all the clutter. Get rid of all the clutter and kind of streamline and kind of just organize everything that I can use in order to build myself into a better position, whether it be on YouTube, on TikTok, and life in general. You know, just get that filth and all that garbage out the way. So, whether it be video game playthroughs I have on the back burner that I need to finish, I'm going to be rushing to finish those because of certain games that I started, lost interest in, and I don't want to just be having them sit anywhere. So, that's the first thing. Um... Again, recording the Tackling Toxicity series, being more consistent, uh, pushing the clothing line into something profitable, uh, and being more consistent with my live streams. Because towards the end of the year, I'm not going to lie, I did, you know, venture off and I guess I said lost my my will to continue and I'm kind of beat myself up for that too but I'm going to let it help me up not beat me up uh, sacrificing what needs to be sacrificed so I don't have to sacrifice anything else hopefully that didn't fly over your head you know Um, I need 2023 has to be that wake up call and I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel that way uh, it has to be that, 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 that wake up call that a lot of us should have had during 2020 so I remember saying back in, I don't, I don't remember, 2000, I think 2019 going into 2020, I think I mentioned something about this feeling like, for that time, I felt like it feeling like the following year was going to be a time of healing. And I think we've been in a time of healing from 2020 up until now. 2023 is going to be that time of rebuilding in my opinion and it's going to be a time of recollection it's going to be a time of wake up calls you know it's going to be damned if you do damned if you don't and we're going to have to get to that point where it's we got to do you know realize that it's better to do than look back and wonder why didn't I, why didn't I do? So that's how I'm looking at myself. Uh, this year has to be it. And I'm not saying everything has to get accomplished in 2023, but 2023 has to be the year where I look back on it at the end of that year and say, okay, I did all, all everything I was supposed to do on that checklist. And if, as long as I do that, regardless how far it goes, as long as I'm consistent with everything that I'm, you know, what I have on there, I, I'm pretty, pretty much going to be happy with myself because I don't want to feel this feeling of I didn't do enough, you know, so that's where I'm at with it. So 2023 is coming up. I didn't want any background music playing because I wanted you guys to hear everything I had to say. Uh, I'm probably going to think about some other things I should have said after this video is over. But for the most part, I've gotten my point across and I hope I got across. I've Hopefully I gotten across well enough that you guys understood where I was coming from. So 
as far as the vlogs and you know having a green screen and recording like this i mean it's not a real green screen but it's built into the recorder the uh, the live stream program i'm using um which is something i always wanted to do you guys heard me say that for years so i'm glad i figured this out <laughs> so we, we expect to see vlogs with 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 this look um hopefully more interact ho hopefully more inner interaction with the uh anime live streams um continue to grow my tiktok channel you know hopefully get tiktok my youtube up to like five thousand, or at least to up to where my tiktok is um on tiktok finish up my common rider uh series i got some more challenge series coming to you guys so keep a, keep an eye open for that and just make sure everything's um well organized get rid of the clutter and make sure everything's well organized um, you know um you know 2023 it, it does feel like this new year is it, it, it feels bland but i think with all the drama that's been happening for the past two years two or three years i do think uh we didn't need anything extravagant like that you know this is just one of those years we just need to focus on self focus on uh those that really care about us focus on the things we need to be focusing on um and just better ourselves and i don't mean half assing that i mean really better at ourselves because i feel like 2023 is going to reveal just how much we need each other you know um, 2023 I feel like it's going to reveal a lot of evils and a lot of uh, it's, it's going to reveal even more you know people's true intentions you know because we've seen a bit of that this year but I really want just on myself personally, I really want to push as much negativity as away as possible. Get rid of all of the clutter and just f organize my my well being, anything I plan on doing, etc. So, with that being said, um, thank you guys for watching. I knew I was going to go way over the the 10 minute mark, but, uh, thanks for supporting me. Thanks for rocking with me all these years. And I hope you guys continue to rock with me in 2023. So until next time, remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. See you next year.